When the Dodd Center was founded in 1995, it was with the ambition to place Yukon at the forefront of human rights, scholarship, and activism, both here in the United States and around the world. Today, we are proud to say that ambition has been rewarded by research, teaching, and outreach that have made the Dodd Center synonymous with the cause of human rights. So today, through this center, we renew our commitment to the universal values of human rights. We rededicate ourselves to building a better and a more just democracy here and globally. Today, we gather on the campus of a great American university and at the entrance to its Center for Human Rights. In response to my father's hope that he uttered 75 years ago, here at this center, at this university, in this our country, we will invoke the precedence and call upon the law that was made in Nuremberg 75 years ago. Nuremberg forced us to look closely at the evil of humankind and what we're capable of perpetrating. To see mass atrocities, crimes against humanity, do not happen by accident. They don't happen by accident. The result of choices, choices made by individual human beings and world leaders. And sadly, when we look around the world today, we cannot say that the specter of atrocity is behind us. We see today the patterns, the choices playing out around the world, even as we speak. Whenever we hear that kind of poisonous hatred, where we ever we see our fellow human beings being dehumanized, doesn't mean we go to war, but we must speak out. Silence, as my dad would remind me, silence is complicity. So as we rededicate the Dodd Center for Human Rights to honor the legacies of both father and son, let's also dedicate it to the future of generations, to the students here in the audience today who discover and defend human rights is the passion and purpose of our life.